Hello friends, it's me. And today we are checking out some teeny tiny things. They made a mini bag of Takis. You can even like crack it open. Wait, there was actual food in there. Wait, we making Takis from scratch? Ooh, it's like a paste. I don't know, that, that could be a hot Cheeto. Smush it up, oh, that's how they do it. They like roll it up. And then deep fry it. I can't believe how tiny these are. You guys are actually like mini deep frying. Oh, and don't forget the seasoning. Yeah, that's the best part. Season them bad boys up. And then pop them into the bag. Oh, that is a big crunch for such a little chip. That is a lot of effort for the smallest bag of chips I have ever seen. You know, all of those Takis doesn't even equal a single normal sized Taki. Our compost grew a baby watermelon. Oh no, it's not ready. Don't cut him yet. Oh, whoa, I thought it was gonna be green on the inside, but it's actually like a, a tiny mini watermelon. But why does it have seeds? Why hasn't natural selection just done away with watermelon seeds? Who's eating them? Do we just keep them around for aesthetic? It blows my mind how some of these things are like actually functional. This pot, you can plug it in. It's cooking the rice. The lid about to bust off. Oh, it's actually a rice maker. Get some water on my little dispenser. Where's your mini functional sink? Oh, you don't have one? How do you have a mini TV playing Peppa Pig? The volume button the size of a grain of rice. Okay, well they actually cooked rice in this tiny little pot. Well, there you have it. A thumbnail of rice. I got the chopsticks. You want a diet or something? Me and my five grains of rice watching Peppa Pig. This is how it starts. You print out the label of a mini Pringles can. Oh, they use an authentic ingredients. The actual life-size Pringles can. To make the plastic lid. Oh, they even got the mini Pringles inside. Fill it up and then put the lid on. Oh, I like the detail. Even the little aluminum foil. Oh, it's perfect. The perfect addition to my mini home. Some Pringles on the counter waiting to be eaten. It's like a dollhouse with actual rooms. The little dry shampoos, the mouthwash, all the little cosmetics. Many brands really popped off. They are so small. You literally have to use tweezers to put everything in place. It's like those super fancy restocking videos. Restock the guest room with me. And you start filling and they start filling up all the cabinets with all these toiletries. Don't forget all the soap and all the cleaning stuff under the sink. Oh my goodness, it's like an entire world. Wait, did you just throw a tote bag in the washing machine? Hey, it really was. It's even functional. I mean, yeah, the tiny little people need to wash their tiny little clothes. It's incredible, but it's going a little too far. It's like they make absolutely everything. I mean, literally everything, but small. Hey, it's just a regular banana. But a tiny little knife. Chop up the banana. Oh, we make it a smoothie. Is it actually gonna blend though? It actually blends! How is it actually blending? Is what I wanna know. They got batteries that tiny? Oh, pour in the little smoothie. They got a fancy little smoothie bowl. Oh man, this looks delicious. I have never seen somebody use pudding around a cup. Bro, I love pudding. Pudding, custard, would literally inhale that. Just the tip of my tongue just What's on the menu today? <gasps> Popeye's chicken sandwich? A free chicken sandwich. They just be handing them out? Y'all got a coupon for that? I have made this enough times to know the exact recipe. That is some buttermilk. They have put in the spices in the buttermilk. This is actually one of my favorite things to make. I'm like, I can't have the Popeye's one because it's not gluten free, so I gotta make my own. That's a real chicken breast. Oh, y'all cut it like a loaf of bread. There's just something gross about touching raw meat without gloves or anything. I don't know, that's just me. Personally, I always gotta have gloves on, but also I have nails and I cannot be handling raw meat. Like no matter how many times I wash my hands, I feel like some like molecule of salmonella will get stuck in my nail. 
and then I'm gonna eat some chicken wings, lick my fingers, and then get sick. I don't know, is, is that unreasonable? Anyways, gotta coat the meat in some flour. You gotta like let it marinate in the buttermilk for like at least a few hours. I leave it like overnight. You're also supposed to take some of the buttermilk and put it into the dry mixture. That's how the fried chicken gets all that like extra crunchy texture. Oh my God, the pickles. The best part, my mouth is watering. The other day I was so hungry, but I was going out to dinner, so I didn't want to like eat anything crazy. So I just ate a whole entire jar of pickles. So delicious. Oh, we got a special Pepsi delivery. Oh, no, cook it a little more. It's not even done yet. That's the sauce. You make it a little spicy, some lemon juice, some mayonnaise. Oof. Okay, y'all are legit. They are actually following the recipe. You cannot tell me that is real bread. I want to see the inside of that. I've seen slime that is more convincing. Oh my goodness, it is actually real bread. Put some mayonnaise. Yeah, what do you mean y'all ain't gonna toast it? That is gonna be the most delicious bite of a sandwich. My mouth is actually watering. <laughs> I want a chicken sandwich so bad right now. <laughs> Fried chicken is actually one of my favorite foods. Oh, it's perfect. It looks so good. I feel like this deserves a round of applause. This is just great. I don't know about the Pepsi though. Oh, gorgeous. They literally have everything miniature. Like name something in this world that they don't have miniature. Comment below. Because I feel like I've seen it all. I'm not gonna lie, that pizza looks good. Take a little piece of dough. Wait, why are you cutting it? Wait, was that paint? Okay, I, no, I thought it was gonna be edible. It's not even edible, what's the point? Okay, I, I definitely saw some glue in there. Y'all really got my hopes up for nothing. It, it doesn't even look appetizing anymore, I don't care. How stringy the cheese looks. Oh, is that a glizzy? Oh, okay. I like how they have to keep constantly reminding me that it's not edible by doing the zoom in on the clay. I don't know if it's clay or like some kind of pigment. Yeah, thanks for constantly reminding me. Okay, that does look good. Actually, it kind of looks like it's been sitting for a while. Ooh, pizza spatula floating in the air. That's that's kind of impressive. But I can't eat it, so what's the point? What you handed out for Halloween? Tiny little candies. They're only slightly smaller than the regular size ones. This is the smallest little butcher knife I have ever seen. I wouldn't even call this a knife. Then what is it? And I thought it was gonna be a lot sharper. Didn't do a very good job peeling this fruit. I'm not impressed. Whoa, they go in fishing? You know, sometimes I forget that there are actual tiny fish in real life. And it's not just for a miniature video. I threw it in the wok. Fried the fish with some garlic, soy sauce. Y'all really care about flavor for this little one bite meal. You gonna eat this whole thing? Eyeballs, tail and all? I don't believe it. Oh, here it is, the mini butter, all cut up. Oh, so it is real. Add a little bit of milk, some cream, mash it all up. Oh, it kind of looks like paint. You told me this is edible. Oh, they made a little rainbow cake. I don't like the chocolate on top. You're, you're ruining the rainbow. Oh, like adding another rainbow on top is gonna fix it. Why does it look like Play-Doh? I, I saw the butter in the beginning. Looks almost too good to eat. I don't believe it. Kind of looks like Play-Doh. Play-Doh was not good. Now, as a child, I had to try it. It was so Salty. Yeah, never again. And hey, what's for lunch today? Half a stick of pasta cut up into smaller sticks. Fill up a pot of water and get some oil. I don't even know what y'all cooking now. I'm gonna just trust the process. Oh, they're making lasagna. Oh, they even have a tiny little aluminum foil to cover the pan. Wait, did you put that in a real oven? A life-size human oven? No, it's simply too large. The lasagna might combust. <gasps> butter, tiny little sticks of butter. But is it real? Can you actually cook with it? Can I melt it on a small skillet? I know we pulled out the prepackaged little bacon. It's real. And then I'll put it, just pop it on the skillet. No, that is not done. Y'all gonna have to cook that some more. The egg, look at the egg. 
egg. Nah, that's fake. Y'all didn't crack a tiny egg. Mm -mm. Y'all cut it, did some bamboozling, made a tiny little breakfast platter. Oh my goodness, I would inhale that up. I don't even think there's room to chew it. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some very mini things. See this? This is Albert. Everything in this video is gonna be made for Albert. They working at an ice cream place and they mix together the tiniest little scoop of ice cream, put in the sprinkles, and then the cup. Oh, where you get the mini cold stone cup? I cannot believe they are cutting something so small. Y'all, I'm gonna need a microscope for this one. How did they slice such thin pieces of strawberry? Oh, and put it in the resin, popped it out, and it is a strawberry lemonade popsicle. How stinking cute is that? I cannot believe that y'all are doing this with your hands. Like, no tweezers or anything. I can't do it because I have nails, but I can flip a hot tortilla straight off the pan. The biggest flex I got. The smallest bag of Pringles. I ain't gonna be impressed unless you got the chips inside. Wait a second. Y'all got my hopes up. I'm like, wow, there's actually chips inside. What the smiley face? My can of Pringles don't look like that. Albert don't eat anything with a face. Especially with kawaii eyes. These Pringles look like they say, Ooh, when you about to take a bite. What happens when you make a little mess? And you simply vacuum it up with your mini vacuum. And it's actually functional. Dang, that bad boy clean better than my vacuum. This got batteries or something? Oh, it's one of those cute vacuums too with a little face. And then the tube with the vacuum is the schnoz to suck up all the filth. My sinuses could never. How do they have an avocado that small? I know it's fake, but oh no. <laughs> Okay, I cannot believe this right now. The toaster, you could actually put the bread in and it comes out toast. All right, you win. This has gotta be the record. The smallest avocado toast I have ever seen. I cannot believe this one. Like they really scooped out the avocado spread. What did you put in that? What did you put in the toaster? Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You know, I bet you it was. You get the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, you rinse the cinnamon off, you got Toast Crunch. Perfect. You know, in the end it works out. They have a mini spinning plate. And they're making pottery, tiny pottery. Toothpick, open it up. They're actually making a vase, rounding it out and everything. I can't believe this is working so well. Best part is you don't even have to put it in a kiln. Just light it up. Ooh, and then the paint. Goodness gracious, that was, it is so cute. And what all? Also, fully functional. This mini vase gonna go on Albert's kitchen island. Yes, he owns a house. They got a wee little fire pit. Put some sticks in it. It's actually gonna start a fire. It's fully functional. I mean, why wouldn't it? I'm surprised it doesn't burn the whole thing. Oh, marshmallows, they're making s'mores. S'mores, top five desserts. Oh, man. It looks so good. Tiny little s'more sandwich. Just put them in a bowl, pour some milk, make some macaroon cereal. Never been done before. Are y'all watering your strawberry? Oh no, they're cutting it. They're like, you are simply too large for this video. Albert may choke. Let's make it even smaller. Pour it into a tiny blender. I cannot believe these things are actually functional. How is it working? Is there a battery in there? How does the blender that small blend? Yeah, it might have a battery in there. And then they made fresh strawberry juice with a side of Skittles. Literally the worst flavors of Skittles on that plate. I want the green ones. Unpopular opinion, orange flavored candy, Disgusting. Unless it's chocolate, then it's sent from the heavens above. Day three of recreating quarantine trends. Oh, they're making the pancake cereal. See, this is what I'm talking about. For the macaroons, but instead of little mini pancakes, you do macaroons. And I've done this, the pancakes, delicious. Except they added maple syrup on top of it. Oh, goodness. My taste buds are crying and throwing up. Wait, no, throwing up is bad. This is how they heat up the pots. They all have those little candles inside the cabinet and then you just close it and it might take some time, but it heats up the pot. So yes, it is fully functional. What are we cooking today? A couple of macaroni? I can feel like five of those bad boys in there. Now we got some butter. Let that saute. Some flour. Oh, we making a roux. I know what they're making. Pour some milk in there. You are making mac and cheese. I'm about to have mac and cheese later tonight. Some freshly grated chunk of cheese. Oh, this is good. This is Albert's favorite. A single macaroni. Oh, they're cutting them. They're simply not small enough. We're gonna have to cut them in half, you know, for aesthetic. This is a mini video. Can't have any regular size macaroni up in here. You know, you don't even get all five macaroni. You get like three and a half. Mix it all up, you got some mac and cheese. Oh, no, you know, we really have to ration this out. I thought I was gonna be eating from that bowl. You're gonna put half of that, so I get 1.75 macaroni in a plate. Oh, they put breadcrumbs on it. Like, that's gonna make it better. 
Oh uh, yeah, it does actually. Oh, we're gonna have to split that again? Who's eating this? Albert's appetite is much bigger. I mean, can a hamster suckle on it is the real question. Did y'all just go fishing? They pulled out a whole fish. And you know, sometimes I forget, some fish are just very small. They are battering it. We're gonna fry it? They fried a whole entire fish. You didn't take the skin off or anything. Okay, before I can even say anything, y'all are making the sauce. Poured it all over. Look at the way you fried him. He's just like, why his back arch like that? Trying to escape the oil. Was not successful. Now he's on Albert's dining table. About to be snacked on. We got a whole entire mini house, living room, kitchen. This ain't Albert's house, it's too nice. He ain't got that much money. How is the sink working? How is water coming out of the faucet? Like, it's so small. What's making it work? Y'all got mini wires under the mini cabinet with a mini tank of water. But anyways, back to the chicken. They frying it, they already battered it. They got a pan full of hot oil. Make chicken katsu, fried chicken. For granny and grandpa, who are they? Why do they get this glorious meal? Grandma? She ain't a hamster. Did you see it straight up fried chicken? No rice? No mashed potato? They getting old. Taste buds broke. Give it to Albert and eat some oatmeal. I love these lollipops. These lollipops, the chupa chups, chups, I don't know what they're called. Chupa something. The strawberries and cream, delicious. They got a mini lollipop jar. Okay, but unwrap them. I wanna see what's on the inside. Y'all really got some candy in there? If Albert cannot suckle on it, it's useless. A tiny potato. But wait, we're going to make it even smaller. Pop a cylinder. Potato glizzy out of it. Oh, and they're cutting it into tiny little circles. Oh, they're making chips out of it. Pop it into a Lay's bag. You know, if only they were actually made like this. Oh, that looks so good. I don't think you guys realize how delicious fresh chips are. You know, especially when they got a little thickness to them. Oh, delicious. If you like little tiny objects, you're going to love this. There's a street fair today in front of Bryant Park in New York City, and one of the booths there is selling these handmade magnets. I bought like 20 of them. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to put them all over my fridge. Those are magnets? It's like tiny fake food. That is a lot. Who's hand making all of these? Whoa. Reminder to buy corn. Pop it on the fridge. Excuse me, what is that? You know, among all of this food, that that's a rat. You know, New York City can't have food without having rats. There's so many of them, I don't know where to start. They poured out an entire bag of Squid Game guards. Oh, goodness gracious, they are so cute. And they headbang to the music. Now they do the whole body rock. I want to know how they get all of them to move at the same time. Don't you gotta like touch them so they go like rocking out to this sick beat? Um, all of you move? Does that mean everyone's dying? I would love to have one of these guys. Just put them on my desk, just poke, and they just headbang to the sound of my voice. This is the smallest steak I have ever seen. And they're gonna cook it. I mean, technically it's just a piece of steak. Just cut very small. Ooh, that bad boy is sizzling. They making this extra crispy. Put some butter on it, make it extra crispy. Ooh, delicious. I would've cooked mine more. Oh, we're making one of those fancy steaks with gold foil and everything. A life-size one of these can cost over a thousand dollars. Mini one? Only one dollar. Your pet rat gonna be eating like a king. Took a mini cart to the grocery store. <gasps> no, no big flower, only little flower. Okay, I take my little flower home and make little flower into little dough. Grease up this pot. Oh, we making a pie? Hey, was that a KFC ketchup packet? Whoa! You can't make pizza with a KFC ketchup packet. Y'all thought, y'all thought we wouldn't notice. What'd y'all put on that pizza? That ain't mozzarella and veggies, onions and tomatoes. They put a wooden bowl in the oven. I feel like because it's tiny and you're cooking it on such low heat for such a short amount of time that it is acceptable. If you tried to do that with a real one, you might burn your house down. No wood pot in oven. It actually looks very delicious. They sliced some dough. We got a nice sheet of dough, put some jam on it. Oh, we're making Pop-Tart. I already know, it's gonna be a Pop-Tart. A teeny tiny one. Poke some holes into it, bake it. I want to see it baked. Oh, it's perfect. I sing, that's sussy, bro. Some sprinkles. Oh, it is the most perfect mini Pop-Tart. Only one bite. Albert's favorite breakfast. Sugar makes him go insane. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out the teeny tiniest mini food. They went fishing in a mini lake. Pulled out the teeny tiniest fish. And then I remembered like anchovies exist. <laughs> and they're grilling it in some soy sauce. Pop it on that plate. Oh, presentation 10 out of 10. Delicious. <gasps> Pringles. Oh, are these like those mini brands? Oh wait, but they're not supposed to have food in them. What is this? <gasps> oh, it's a cute little stack. 
stack of Pringles. It's even got a face on it. Only a monster would eat something this cute. So you telling me the whole time the Pringles man can has been keeping this little lady hostage. That's illegal. Fish cakes. Those are called Naruto, by the way. So I've seen a few of these TikToks where this guy who works at Cold Stone will take the teeny tiniest sample size scoop of ice cream, put in some mix-ins, today we got sprinkles, and then put it in the tiniest little cup. I didn't even know they had these. We got a cast iron pot and they're gonna make popcorn. Is there such thing as mini popcorn? I don't think so. Are those kernels mini or are they like a normal size? Is this just gonna make normal size popcorn? I don't know, I guess we find out. Man, we got a whole village of Lego people watching this. Like it's the craziest thing this town has ever seen. So it finished popping and they're grating cheese over it. What if some people don't like cheesy popcorn? <laughs> This is so incredibly extra. Wow. For the animals of the village. They don't even like popcorn. Okay, so they use quail eggs. Because they're real eggs and they're tiny. And they work just like regular eggs. <gasps> See? That's a big yolk. Big yolk for such a tiny egg. Gotta whisk the batter just like any other cupcake. There we go. It's perfect. Now cook it. Put it in a little cupcake mold. Gotta wipe that little mistake away. <gasps> Chocolate sprinkles. Oh, it's a party now. Mix them on up. Pop them in the oven for one candlelight for five minutes. Wait, I didn't see no candle here. Is this like an actual mini oven? Do they exist? Whoa, it's got like actual heat in it. <gasps> Pull it out. Whoa, so fancy on the inside. It actually looks like a real oven. So the cupcakes are done. Oh, they came out so cute and perfect. Got the little ridges on the side and everything. Wait. Oh, this is the fun part. Put all the frosting on it. Mm, frost me up, daddy. I've never seen something so adorable. I am in love with these. Somebody please make me the tiniest cupcakes for my birthday. That's all I want. Put them all on my hand and <laughs> slurp them all up. One bite, not even a bite. You don't even have to chew. <laughs> The smallest little finger taco. Oh, put your lettuce first. Oh, that's aesthetic. So the meat goes on top of it. I put the lettuce on top, cause that's how Taco Bell does it. And then the sour cream on top. Mm, that bite do be looking good though. A five star meal for your cat. I'm gonna go over to my teeny tiny fridge. Let's see what I got, what's cooking? Oh, the stove top got a real fire. The tiniest, thickest piece of bread I ever saw. Oh, they made like a little mini pizza. Is it even pizza if it doesn't have cheese? Here you go, seasoned bread. Mini depression meal check. Whoa. So they pulled their steak out of their tiny little smoker, roaster, whatever the heck this contraption is. Wham bam, teeny tiny piece of cow, ma'am. Mmm, delicious. Oh, whoa, this one's a nice fancy kitchen. Looking like a little mini restaurant. Open up one of my many stainless steel fridges. They got some chicken. Are we making fried chicken today? How you get a drumstick so small? Those are not real drumsticks. Those did not come from real chicken legs. Plot twist, it's frog meat. I'm just kidding, I don't know what it is. Yes, we are making fried chicken today. You gotta coat all the drumsticks, heating up some oil. Make sure it's popping before you throw the chicken in. Whoa, no fear. I would've been just like, pop it in it. Ran away. I'm so terrified of oil splattering me. I've burned myself so many times. Every time I make fried chicken, I burn myself. Now put it in longer. It's not done yet. It could be browner. More crispy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is when you go to a fancy restaurant. They wrap the little drumstick part with foil so your fingernails don't smell crusty when you just like <laughs> the teeny tiniest little chicken meal. Gotta light the candle, you know, aesthetic. Why we got an industrial size flamethrower to light the tiny candle though? <laughs> oh, it's a little Christmas dinner. Nothing like fried chicken on Christmas. Christmas in July. Bro, I don't know what's up with my neighbors, but they literally have had their Christmas tree up all year. Right now, you could walk past their house and see that Christmas tree up like they keep it up all year I mean that's fun and all but why this is the smallest little ice cream cone it kind of looks like the end of those drumstick ones that they got chocolate in the end of it and even ice cream that looks like a poop emoji I see no difference found this big old strawberry in the forest could have cut this little bad boy oh you can't tell me that's a real blender there's no blenders that small it will not blend oh <gasps> yeah! no actually is a real blender. <gasps> How does it even work? Bro, my full-size blender can barely even blend up some strawberries. And that went whoosh. Whoa. Mini strawberry juice. With a side of Skittles. Some fairy tale food. Very cute. 
Oh, they got a mini cast iron pan. Oh, that's fancy. By the way, did you know you can't wash those? Oh, look at that tiny piece of steak. What's that, fat? That's just a big fat cap on it. Oh, they seasoning it. They seasoning it? Rub it all in. Mm. I prefer to give my meat a good beating as I'm seasoning it. Like, you better taste good by the time I'm done with you. Get them nice and tender. So the steak is cooking on the stove. They're gonna put in some rosemary, some onion, some garlic and butter. Oh, that looks bomb. This is gonna be delicious. Gotta cook the sides of it. I don't know why I thought I was weird for doing that, like turning the steak on the side and cooking the side, but apparently other people do it. Okay, okay, I did not know these things. Okay, they popped it in the oven, pulled it out. Whoa. Filet mignon for the hamster. She fancy, well done, just the way I like. It. <laughs> oh, and the leftover mac and cheese. It looks so good. So a lot of these ovens are actually functional. You just put a candle in the cabinet. Like caveman, you have fire and heat to cook your macaroni with. Oh, so that's what we doing today. We making the macaroni. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot of butter. Put some flour in it. You know, we gonna make our roux for the mac and cheese. Oh, don't forget the tiny, tiny, this little jar of milk. Oh, this, this is getting a little chunky. Gotta break it up. Bro, that candle working nine to five and overtime. <laughs> Making a whole little mini meal. And then they mix in the cheese. Oh, starting to look like mac and cheese now. Delicious. Oh, yes. Just the way I like it. Very chunky. What's for dinner today? Five macaronis. <laughs> oh, they're gonna cut like, yeah, that's not enough. We got a rash in the south. So it looks like we got more macaronis. So they cut them very, very small. We're gonna take this, this cheese pot, drizzle all over. Oh, please tell me you're gonna make some baked mac and cheese. Oh no, they're not. They just put it in the plate. Just put some breadcrumbs on it. Mwah! Chef's kiss. A delicacy. Very cute. Today we are making mini ravioli. That's a lot of flour. Poop. Oh, they're really gonna make fresh pasta just like that? Some egg. You know, that's all you need. Some egg, flour. Ooh, I don't like the texture. Five eggs. It looked like a crusty egg. Okay, so they're gonna mix that bad boy up. Make it into a little dough ball. Yes, excellent. Then open up my little cabinet. <gasps> they got the plastic wrap. You can't tell me that's functional. Is that actually gonna be functional plastic wrap? Whoa. Y'all taking this mini life to the next level. Oh, they even have little spice jars. I don't even know how to make a full size ravioli. Oh, they're creating the tiniest piece of Parmesan. Oh, I guess this is the filling. I got some ricotta. Put in all the mini seasonings. Wham, bam, smush it up, ma'am. I can't imagine how awkward this would be to just like do everything with some big old fingers. Barely enough food to fit on a thumbnail, but here we are. They're gonna stuff the dough with the little ricotta mixture. Pop another layer on top. Bro, they even got the tiniest tools. And somehow it works better than Domino's pizza cutter. Oh, whoa, it's actually looking like ravioli now. Okay, hurry up and cook it, I'm hungry. Take some onions and basil and some olive oil. Wow. We're really making a five-star meal for the ant infestation we got going on in the basement. Some salt, some pepper. And then they pop the little raviolis in the water. And we wait for them to cook. And then when it's done, pour a little sauce over it. Wow. And here is the finished product. What a cute little meal. Oh, you can't tell me that wine bottle actually got... Oh, the person it drops. Oh, I love this so much. It was a delight watching this. I feel like every single kitchen we see is like an upgrade from the last. This one even has a backyard that you can see through the windows. And we got custom cabinets, countertops, and a backsplash. Wow. How are their veggies so tiny? I never see onions that big. Watch them cut the onion. I would still tear up cutting that. I can't believe how they're doing this. Like cutting them so small. Okay, that's a regular carrot. They just got a little piece of it. And then they cut up the carrot into a ton of little pieces. For the soup, gotta cook some garlic and onion. Onion. You know, this is what makes your house smell so good. They mixed in everything. I seasoned it. Real nice. I like how they're holding it with tweezers and then like mixing it. <laughs> really gotta get in there. Starting to look like a soup. And then pour everything else in. Mix it on up. And there you have it. Check up on the noodles. Make sure they cook. Probably take a few seconds to cook. So little. Make sure you get that broth. Ooh. It looks delicious. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love tiny things.